This is Module 5, Lesson 3, Homework. Today's objective was to specify and partition a whole into equal parts, identifying and counting unit fractions by drawing pictor pictorial area models. Number 1. Each shape is a whole divided into equal parts. Name the fractional unit and then count and tell how many of those units are shaded. The first one is done for you. So I see what I have to do is name the fractional unit and then count to tell how many are shaded. So when I look at the first problem I can see that there is one, two, three, four sections that have been divided. So that is why it is named as fourths. When I go back, I can count and see that there is one fourth, two fourths shaded. And that's why they have written two fourths are shaded. Let's look at the next picture. When I look at this picture, I can count and see there is one, two, three, four, five equal parts. When there are five equal parts, the fractional unit is called fifths. When I go back to count, I can count one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. So I can write four fifths are shaded. The third picture I see one, two, three, four, five, six fractional parts. When there are six fractional parts, I call them sixths. When I go back, I'm going to count what is shaded. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, three sixths are shaded. Try the fourth picture by yourself. First, counting the equal parts and naming the fractional unit, and second, writing how many parts are shaded. Number two, each shape is one whole. Estimate to divide each into equal parts. Divide each whole using a different fractional unit. Write the name of the fractional unit on the line below the shape. So some important things I need to do is I need to estimate to divide equal parts. I need to divide using a different fractional unit. And I need to write the name of that fractional unit. So I'm going to do one example with you. Everyone will have different answers for this portion of the homework. When I look at the rectangle, I'm going to divide the rectangle into thirds. When I think about thirds, that means I have three equal parts. So I want to estimate that rectangle into three equal parts. You will continue to do this for the line and the circle. However, you cannot use thirds for those two. Try using fifths or eighths or fourths to divide the line and the circle. So you have three different ways of dividing up shapes. Number three, Anita uses one sheet of paper to make a calendar showing each month of the year. Draw Anita's calendar. Show how she can divide her calendar so that each month is given the same space. What fraction of the calendar does each month receive? 
So we're going to create a calendar that shows each month of the year. If I think about the year, I know there are 12 months in the year. I want to draw the calendar to show that each month is given the same space. So a calendar, if I were going to create it, would be on a piece of paper. The calendar needs to show every month. In this case, there are 12 months. So I need to divide this piece of paper into 12 equal parts. I'm going to start by dividing thirds. Next, I will divide my thirds in half which creates sixths. If I divide my sixths in half, I have 12 equal parts. On your own, fill in the sentence to show what fractional unit one portion of the calendar is allowed.